What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jimeka here, coming at you with the sick pick of Season 7, Week 7, which is Dreams of the Dead by The Lone Sun. Um, I think, like, The Lone Sun was listening to me when I was talking one time in chat about how awesome this card, Dreams of the Dead, is, which basically, like, returns black or white creatures uh, from your graveyard to battlefield, and it gives, like, a human upkeep. But it's only for, like, two mana, so it's, like, a recurrable sort of, like, anime dead. It's pretty awesome. And um, I guess he ran with that, and it's actually funny. This, this deck actually looks like Rimmons Knight's Esper Blink deck, but with just this, like, card, Dreams of the Dead. So let's look at it. The, the, the mana base is actually exactly the same as the uh, Rimmons of Knight deck list. I've seen that list, like, eight times already, so <laughs> I know exactly what the mana base is, and it looks just like it. Uh, but yeah, Dreams of the Dead is pretty sweet, especially when you fill your deck with uh, good black and white cards here. Uh, Oath of Jace, another kind of, like, filtered card. And Mask of the Mimic, another favorite card of mine. Uh, it's pretty funny how there's a lot of creatures that are redundant here. So if you're facing like the upkeep trigger of uh, Dreams of the Dead, you can just mask it away and like try to get another creature. But you have to have a creature to copy. So yeah, but that's pretty neat. Uh, like a little momentary blink. All the creatures here have entered the battlefield effects, most of them at least. So blink is pretty good here. Uh, Warf Ultrator is cool. Uh, it's a way to like discard the really expensive spells early and then you can get value out of it later. Also, just kind of attacks or like skull because like skull is like this weird unblockable sort of thing. Uh, anime dead for when you don't have the dreams, you know, it's still a good value card here overall. Uh, Orzo Seven is just to ramp a little bit because the four drops it seems like we're fours is where you're kind of like getting your money here. That's creature demon, just an overall solid card. Uh, six six flyer for four mana can't beat that really. And two or exar is pretty neat. Uh, does has multiple uses, uh, grave digger or a duress basically. You can actually get lands from this, which is no one actually realizes you can actually take lands from your opponent's hand. But Exarch's pretty sweet. Uh, Murderous Red Cap, just an overall good value guy. Really good with Mask and Mimic, actually. You can just sack it. You get the Red Cap back, and you get something else that you want to copy. Like Cloud Blazer. Cloud Blazer's amazing. And Magister Worth. They're both pretty amazing cards. Uh, sideboard is pretty interesting, actually. Uh, other than, like, you know, the usual suspects of Sphere of Law here. Seal of Cleansing. Uh, more enemy deads for, like, re your matchups. The meaning of 10th, could bring his moderate aggro. But he's also got this, like, Vizier of Remedies uh, sort of, like, combo with Red Cap. So you can actually kind of, like, uh, shift your game plan a little bit. Because you have Vizier and some Sag Outlets and uh, Vampire Riscrat and then Tuka Husk and a little Buried Alive. Just by, like, kind of, like, shifting gears and sort of, like, changing your deck a little bit post sideboard. It's actually pretty neat. I actually like doing that sort of thing in some decks. Um, yeah, Dreams of Dead is a sweet card. I mean, the deck seems sweet. Uh, the Lone Sun, actually, uh, two top eights. This was there's one in top eight and one in the finals. I lost the uh, Ribbons of Night. So this is actually his finals list. So if you want to check out the list? There's a link below. Thanks guys for watching. Take care.